Hi guys, welcome to another Catch Hair Guidance reading. I'm Yashara and today we're going to do a general reading for all signs for the month of October. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of crazy transformative and karmic energy in the air. It's been that way for a little while now and it's driving some of us crazy. So it's time to do another reading. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to call on our spirit guides, messengers, angels, the universe, the creator, whatever resonates with you. And we ask for a clear, strong message telling us what we need to know for the month of October 2020. Here we go. That's right, guys. You know I love the sound of that thunder. Let's make it roll. <laughs> oh, I feel good about that. Let's stop there. All right. Let's get us an overall message of reading. Starting off with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. What else have we? And the Hermit. Um, Eight of Cups is the overall message of the reading. Oh, for a little clarification on that, we've got the Hermit. <sighs> All right. Well, guys, the Eight of Cups is not too bad. The Hermit, not too bad. Herein, we're looking at the Hermit, who, where are we? In Virgo season, right, guys? And what have we been doing? Living like a Virgo out there wandering and searching and looking for our cup, right? For our grand fulfillment. We're looking back into the past over some events near and far um, that you know, events push us to have to stand up for ourselves. Events pushed us to have to learn to stand up for ourselves, to speak for ourselves, because, you know, a closed mouth does not get fed. And we were not being fed. We weren't being fed. So we went through a lot of things that, uh-oh. Oh, we had a visitor. Okay, so we went through a lot of things, and it caused us to learn how to express ourselves, express ourselves and release this pent up energy. Okay. And this happened to us in stages, right? It was like, you know, every time there was something happened and we, we went inside ourselves and we had to think about what happened and question ourselves about what happened. There, there was confusion. There was aha moments. Um, but in the end, I would say it brought us to a point of finding our voice, finding our voice. Let me see here. And here we are. We're looking at the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups here. Okay. And also here we're looking at the Hermit. The Eight of Cups and the Hermit. Hmm. 
I feel like there was really just a turning point. It was a turning point. Um, you know, you, you got, got to a point where you started looking for deeper meaning. Deeper meaning. You needed more fulfillment. Um, more, more intense joy. You just got tired of the status quo. And you started to fight for what you want. Um, you thought about you thought about giving up. Things got tough, but I think at some point you may have realized that your answers were going to come from within, from inside of you. You had to dig down deep, and you had to stop looking for the answers on the outside of yourself. You had to go within yourself and, and put some things in order inside you. Um, anytime I see the hermit card, I think about going inside and like kind of going off to oneself and kind of going on a spirit quest, you know, on a vision quest, if if you will. That's what I think of when whenever I see the hermit, you know, you're searching, okay? And um, I, I feel like you just stopped this. You decided to stop um, accepting the status quo. You decided, you know what? I've got these big lofty visions and dreams. And I believe, you know, I have a dream. I believe lofty visions. But you weren't being fulfilled. So you had to figure it out. You had to stop and, and, and ask some right questions. Maybe even build your knowledge. You also had to stop underestimating yourself. I feel like there was a lot of underestimating oneself here. Um, questioning oneself. You know, when you have everything inside of you, but you, for some reason, it's like you, you, you're afraid of the success or you're afraid of the failure or whatever it is. It was doubting yourself, knowing that, you, you know, you are the capable one, but you're still doubting yourself, you know. Um, I even feel like maybe you're the one that your friends go to, <laughs> you know, but you are here doubting yourself. You're not seeing yourself the way that others see you. So we have that. So now moving forward here. Let's find out more of what we need to know about. Where are we now? All right. All right. Let's see. We've got the devil card. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> We've got a lot of cards. Oh, we've got the devil card. And oh, wow. Wow. We've got the sun card, the devil card and the sun card. Now, come on, guys. If that's not divine, I don't know what is. You've got three major arcana cards sitting right here. We've got the hermit, the devil card, and the sun card all at once. Pardon me. One moment. Okay, sorry about that, guys. The kids, you know, the, the big kids, the little kids, they, you know, I'm mom. Um, who can stay away from mom for long, right? Okay, so where are we? We're looking at the devil card and we're looking at the sun card. And mm, what do we see here? Whenever I see the devil card, I think about... I think about I think about a, an attempt to balance oneself out. An attempt to balance one's higher self and lower self. Okay? That's what I think about here. But 
seeing the sun card come behind that i'm seeing that 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 you're you're becoming successful like all these ups and downs these trials and tribulations have have kind of made you strong in that area you've now oh here we go let me just let you take a look at that devil card there okay it's like um I feel like you're 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 working on balancing yourself out. I mean, there some of us have been struggling with some um addictive behaviors, you know, some overindulgence, some serious wilding out. But I feel that you are you're you're coming you that was like a it was something you went through. Okay? It was something you went through. And some of us just needed to balance ourselves out in other areas, maybe balancing the, the, the work home, you know, balance, maybe the relationship work balance or however it may be. Some of us may have needed to, um, some, we all had to work on balance, you know, but in one way or another, however it may have been for you, whatever resonates with you, I feel like you have been becoming successful at learning to balance. That you're starting to understand that, you know, there's a spiritual self that needs to be fed. And when you are not balancing, then your spiritual self suffers. But seeing the sun hard here makes me feel like you, you're, you're doing a great job at that. You're learning to balance, you know. Um, I feel like you're... You're breaking, I feel like you're coming out from unwanted and unhealthy attachments or bonds. You're breaking those, okay? You're breaking those chains, you're breaking those bonds, and you're you're feeling free and happy again because of this. It's making you feel somewhat like a child again, I feel, you know? Um, that's, that's, yeah, that's the energy I'm getting here. It's like, oh, you know, that was a lot I went through, but, oh, I learned some lessons and I learned to balance out myself and be, you know, and be my own best friend, you know, and because of that, it's almost like I'm a child again. It's almost like a new life, a new world fresh new perspective, a new day, you know, a new dawn, if you will. Um, like this, this, what is it? There's nothing better than the sun card besides what, maybe the world card, you know? And the sun card always has fabulous things to say about a reading. But yeah, you're definitely learning, you know, you're growing, Things have a brighter outlook. Um, life becomes invigorating again. So this is pretty awesome, guys. I mean, I have a few more cards that dropped here. And they look pretty amazing. I mean, we've got the King of Wands. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. But one of these cards is reversed. And I'd love to tell you more about it um, for an extended reading. I will post a link below so that um, those of you who would like to find out more, you guys, um, if this resonated with you and you really want to find out more, I mean, this sounds pretty amazing. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to stop there, hey, stop there. But, you know, there's always curiosity. So, those of you who would like to find out more about what's going on for us coming up in the first half of the month of October 2020, check the link below, hit me up, and find out. Um, others of you, if that didn't resonate with you, you may need a personal reading. You know, there are so many of us and so many different stories going on out there that, you know, I know some of us can't, we can't translate it into our personal experiences and we may need someone to do that for us. So we might not see how we connect with that. So if that's the case for you and you need a personal reading, 
get at me. Um, I'll leave my Instagram and, you know, all my social media and contact information below. Um, thank you guys. And until next time, as usual, Yashar K out. Love you.